Hey guys, finally sleeps here. Uh, today we are going to run the math on the UCL event, see what's possible free to play, take a look at what it takes to grab some of the higher level players or even the prime icon, and then uh, we're gonna go over strategies and a few tips. Before that though, make sure you like, subscribe, comment and share, turn on notifications so you never miss when we go live on uh, Twitch or YouTube. But do not forget to check out the links below, especially Twitch. We ran all of these numbers live on Twitch just recently. So if you were on the stream, this is all new news. And don't forget tomorrow on Saturday, the second day of the UCL event, we are going to give away 104 Conte live on Twitch. You got to be there to grab him. Giveaway for 104 Conte happening tomorrow uh, on live on Twitch. Don't miss it. Link's down there. Okay, before we get into this, one last thing. I got some shout outs for finallyhesleeps.com members. Uh, thank them for the support. Chris, Ruben, Politico, Paul, MS5150, Christoph, Darren, Glenn, Kevin, Cole, Todd, and the three Johns. There's three of them. Callahan, Downing, and the Giftmeister Butt Munch. All right, so that's out of the way. Let's take a look at the event, see what's possible, and, and talk about what you got to do to play this. So now this is skill games. Now there's a big difference here with the skill games for this event than we've seen in the past. Because this uses standard energy, not event energy. Standard energy, not event energy. Did you hear that? I'll say it one more time. Standard stamina. Your energy that you have no matter what that refills constantly is what you're going to use. That means there is no excuse whatsoever not to get 15 stars each and every day. Now, day one, you can only play easy. Day two, you can move up to medium. And day three through 13, you can play hard. Now, you heard that, 13. It is an unlucky 13-day event because it was one day late. So this is not a two-week event. This is a 13 day event and the numbers have to run according to that now when you play these daily skill games you get 40 ucl points just for playing them the first time then if you come back through you end up with just 100 coins so there's no point in overplaying them other than just to grab your three stars for every one there are daily milestones now these daily milestones are important because they cumulatively grow cumulatively grow yeah that's right so once you get five stars, you earn 175. Once you get 10, you earn 200. Once you get 15, you earn 250. That is a grand total of 625 UCL points on day one. Day two, it's even more because you're gonna move to medium. Day three and on, it's over 900 points per day at hard grabbing 15. Now again, we don't have anything else going on right now, so there's no excuse not to grind these skill games to get your 15 stars each and every day. And those UCL points are important and you're gonna to wanna to be able to do it. Now we have UCL tickets. Now if you, once you play all five skill games, you earn a ticket. That ticket gets you into the bonus matches. There are two bonus matches possible per day. One is worth 100 points, one is worth 200 points. These are UCL score points, not UCL points. These are what you use in the TOTS or in the UCL pass. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. So you're gonna wanna play one of these matches each and every day, no matter what, because there is a milestone that we're gonna take a look at here in a second for playing these bonus matches. End of an era milestone, we'll come back to it. Here is the player path. This is like everything else, you use your points to work your way down and claim players. Now, much like all the other events we've seen lately, these players all come pre-ranked. All the way at the end, we have Striker KDB which is an interesting prospect. Striker De Bruyne, left wing Mbappe, striker Neymar, right wing Mares. These are some interesting players up pretty pretty high. Positionally kind of interesting. And Rudiger with marking. Not bad as far as the players go. Now, next tab, player box. Now, this is like the rest of the player boxes that we always see. You use your tokens, you spin it, you grab a player. After seven times, your eight spin is guaranteed a player. The difference is, is in this event, you get 50 tokens per day, and you're going to get a ton of tokens elsewhere 
during weekly matches and the pass, the UCL pass. So there's going to be a lot more spins on this than we're normally used to. There are milestones that go along with all of those additional spins, including shards up to legendary. But you got to spin it 35 times in the 13 days to get there. Not quite sure if that's going to be possible. It's going to come down to how many matches you can win in the weekly matches. Now, this is a weird portion of the event because you can only play this 15 times in the week and then it resets and you can play it 15 more times. If you run the numbers on the energy and you know how it fills up, you can only hold 16, they take eight, there's daily ads you can watch and the coin offer, blah, blah, blah. You can play this thing a lot more times, 66 times total, but you only need to be able to play it 30 to get the rewards and you can't overplay it. You get to play it 15 times in the week. So do not buy the coin packs. Don't buy the coin packs. It's a waste of a half a million coins. Do not collect the current reward until you have all 15 matches done. If you accidentally touch that and click that reward early, you're done for the week and you're stuck with the amount of tokens that you get. And there are a lot of tokens possible here, so you want to get as many wins out of the 15 as you can. So, god damn it, do not touch that current reward until you're done with your 15 matches. Now, remember we talked about the bonus matches? If you win 10 bonus matches over the 13 days, you're guaranteed your choice of 98 end of an era player. They both come with 10 ranks, and remember, ranks are very important to me, especially as we continue to get towards the end of the season and you continue to rank up. Shards and ranks, very big deal at this point. Shards, ranks, and boost are the biggest things. So, once you grab one of those 98, take that 10 rank, throw it onto your weekend tournament team, throw it on one of your players in your main team that's not quite at to 10 yet, it's worth it, trust me. All right, now the milestones. Stevie G is 15,000. Event Prime Icon, the guy with a Z in his name, is worth 25,000. UCL points to claim him. Stats here, pretty fantastic. 126 pace, 135 shooting for a center attacking mid, but 25,000 points. Is that even possible? We'll take a look at it here in a second. SBCs, refresh weekly. You've got a uh, past UCL player and some more shards, rare and epic. Don't forget, these are important. You're going to want to do it no matter what. Just take care of them before the weekends and they refresh. Now, the only other thing we've got is the top, uh, the UCL pass. Now, this top row is a free portion that you use by, you, you claim these by using the UCL points that you get from the, the UCL score points that you get from playing the bonus matches. Now, there are two, 500 and 1,000 UCL points, so that's 1,500 we can take into consideration, and 300 UCL tokens plus some shards, gems, and another 89 rated player. The row on the bottom requires the premium pass, which is $20 US to claim. But there are 6,000 UCL points and 500 more tokens along with some legendary shards. Those 10 legendary shards can make a big difference. It might be worth it to grab that when you see what's possible by claiming the pass. The only other thing we can talk about is in the store, we have chain pack offers. There's a Drogba chain pack offer. I actually started that one on stream today on Twitch. Uh, and there is a Bellingham chain pack offer. Costs $2 to begin it. Then it does give you an additional 750 UCL points and 2,000 UCL points if you go all the way out and spend 7,500 gems. We're going to add that in for the pay-to-play option, so don't forget about that. All right, so now, if we want to go back to the event and run the numbers and actually see what's possible, we'll disconnect this and actually take a look at the numbers as they stand. Every day you get 50 UCL tokens daily, uh, 65 UCL points. That's just for logging in. The main tab with the skill games, you get 40 points per skill game the first time you play through. That means there's 200 points every single day just for playing the five uh, that's 13 days of that that's 2600 ucl points just for playing no matter how many stars you get if you figure in your login bonus 65 per day that's another 845 ucl points 
Now, the bonus milestones for claiming the stars, day one, you're going to get 625 for 15 stars. Day two, it's 825 for 15 stars. And day three on, it is 925 points for 15 stars. And again, remember, there's no excuse for not getting the 15 stars. In the past, remember, there's 1,500 total. That means grand total altogether, 16,570 points, UCL points, if you five-star all of your skill games every day, day three through 13 for hard. Now, if you decide to, uh, it's too much and you can only get 10 stars for every day, three through 13, that's 16,220 points. That's not a big gap between 10 stars and 15 stars. It's 350 points over the course. So it's really not that big a deal uh, across the board if you 10 star, you know, seven of the days. 16,000. Let's just say 16,000 just to make things a little bit easier. So 16,000 free to play. Now, if you buy that pass in the store for 20 bucks, that is 6,000 more. 5,000 gems is 500 points, but we're not going to do that because the $2 chain pack for Bellingham is 300 points, and then 7,500 gems get you all of those additional points. So what's the best possible solution? Free to play. 16,000 points for the skill games gets you 10 stars on you know every day. That will get you Girard and a 98 end of an era free to play. I think you should go for node 24 in the main tab to grab 60 epic shards and then resources Forget a player. If you decide to go after a player, Mares is possible free to play. I'll come back to that. I'll show you the numbers when we go to the, the pass. If you want Zidane, buy the UCL pass for 20 bucks, buy the Bellingham chain pack for $2 and 7,500 gems. That gets you a grand total of 25,620 points, which will get you Stevie G, Zidane, and Neymar for $22 and 7,500 7, gems. That is your best possible solution free to play and your best possible solution with coins. Now, what I was talking about as far as what's possible on here, you can grab all the way to the 102 is going to cost you, uh, what is it? The 102 is 22,500, 22,570, something like that to grab to the 22. If you go to the 22,500 to get to the 102, Neymar is 25,000 exactly to grab Neymar. 25,000 exact points. If you want Mares, Mares is achievable for 16,000 points. It is 10,500 to get to him plus 4,800. So he is 16,000. He's, he's just, he's within a range. What is it? 4,800 plus 10,500. He's 15,300 points exactly to grab him, which means the milestone player for Stevie G at 15,000 points is completely doable free to play. Now, if you do want Zidane, the way to grab him is to go back to the store, buy the pass, and open this chain pack. You get 100 here, plus 750, that's 850, plus 2,000, that's 2,850. That is enough to make up the difference. 2,850 there, 6,000 for the pass, that is the 8,800, and that that's where it, the numbers come in. That's where you're gonna get it. 8,850 plus the 16,000, that you get from playing the event normally gets you the 25,000. So that's your decision. Which is more important for you? Do you go for the shards? Do you grab the epic in node one? And I mean, do you want to go for it? Do you want to go all the way down the middle? Do you want to grab Mares? Or is it better to come down here and grab node 21 and node 24? Or are you going to spend the 22 bucks, go all the way down, grab the epic, grab Neymar? and then also grab all of the extra rewards in the other. You'll end up with Stevie G, Zidane, Neymar, an end of an era player, all the epic shards, and everything that comes through the past where there were epic shards there as well. 
22 bucks, it may actually be worth spending it on this event to get you a big bump in moving forward. If not, Mares and Stevie G is nothing to balk at. All right, that's the complete event. Remember, tomorrow on stream, we'll, we'll be giving away 104 Conte to one lucky viewer. Uh, we'll, do, we'll bust out the Wheel of Death again because I love the Wheel of Death. Uh, you got to be there for the stream to get your name on the Wheel of Death, and then you have to be present to be able to earn him and win him. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me today. If uh, you're not involved in Twitch, make sure you get on. The links are down here below. Uh, also, the Discord links. Discord.finallyhesleeps.com is the big foot mobile Twitch server. Make sure you're there. Uh, that's where you can talk to all of the Twitch streamers, uh, along with myself and Ruben. Discordapp.com, invite FM. That is the big foot mobile Reddit server. Uh, there's also giveaways on that server as well. So make sure you're involved in both Discord servers and find me on Twitch. As long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep making videos.